I should do some achievement hunting. I guess I should, what, how, how do I know what I'm missing here? I'm missing six jokers, two vouchers. You gotta check the Steam, the Steam portal. You do any challenges yet? I've, I've not done any challenges yet. I guess we should be doing some challenges, right? Start a new challenge. The omelet. <laughs> All blinds give no reward money. Extra hands no longer earn money. Earn no interest. I see. So this one is all about selling your jokers at the right time. I understand the principle. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I should know better. You don't fish for full houses. You fish for flushes. You already lost 30 bucks. How did I lose 30 bucks? Skipping devalues your eggs. Ah, every skipped blind is $15 down. I see what you're talking about. That makes a lot of sense. I'm so used to playing Balatro the, the patrician's way, which is you just fucking only fight bosses. I see what you're talking about now. I probably run heavy snooze factor on this. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ace two, ace one, two, three, four, one of the best straights of all time. I would continue to hold snooze on this one, even though each one of these Andes is worth eight. I still hold snooze on this. I am going to fish for a spade flush. This is the first blind where you have to pay attention. I didn't discard the right card. <laughs> Never punished. Okay, one discard. We get there, boys. We get there. It's going to take a little bit of luck on the draw here. We need 34 points. Sorted. Okay, now we can start fishing for jokers, bro. Each one of these eggs is worth $11. I mean, hand size goes crazy. Don't get me wrong. We need... I'll be honest with you. You buy an Empress to stay alive, and then you go again. And then I'm holding four, five, six, seven. And I'm going four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna take a perspective play here and say either diamonds or even cards might give us a joker at some point. So we're gonna hit the, the even jokers. That's right, I'm, I'm thinking ahead, bro. Can you believe it? So we already have a flush. I guess it doesn't matter how many hands we take anyway, because we don't get the fucking... the fucking shit, you know? <laughs> so Vagabond seems crazy. The only thing is... Because, like, we'll always be at, like, zero money. The thing is, we're going to have to s spend nine extra dollars. Oh, this is pissing me off. Because if they just gave me one more dollar, I would just get hand size, bro. I could do a double sell. Like we could sell, sell. That takes us to $29. We buy this, buy this, buy this. I'm, I'm going double sell mode on this. It's a little scary, but plus one hand size is insanely good, I think. Then you buy a buffoon pack to fill up the extra space. It's straight up anus. Like, I will not be taking red card, but we can take Devious Joker, you know, just as a lark. And then we'll be re-rolling. And you know what? I'll take another Empress card any day of the damn week. And we go again. Okay, let's see what you're, what you're cooking up here. 
Oh, I absolutely see what you're cooking up here. So, we want to play dog shit. Because then we'll get... It doesn't matter how many turns it takes us to begin with. That's fine. Because we just get more tarot cards out of it as a result of this. The man's a damn genius. Just don't die. I'm a different kind of beast. <laughs> Honestly, we will I'll spend three bucks on that. I do love hack. I'm just we got a we got a lot of stuff going on here, okay? We got a lot of stuff to consider. I don't really want this, but we'll use it, you never know. I, plus, I don't want to give myself too much money by accident. Base, chip, and molt are halved. Uh, right now, I just don't feel comfortable playing dog shit to farm tarot cards, because the boss scares me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a pretty good hand. And honestly, I feel great about that. I feel like that ended up being an awesome decision. I am discarding three of a kind. I know it's a, it's a bit of a crazy play. I'm also discarding a straight. I got a whole game plan, okay? I wouldn't expect you to understand. The long-term game plan is Molted Kings. That's a Flush House boy. <laughs> I guess I should have played some dog shit because we knew Flush House was going to win, but... Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. Voucher, kind of interesting. I don't think it's that kind of run. Double your money? Mm, what's 2x0? Can I get a quick check on that? What does Vagabond do? Uh, Vagabond, if you have under $3, $3 or less and you play a hand, it gives you a tarot card. Great in a situation like this. Huge, huge. Because we also don't get any extra um, money for finishing with some hands in reserve. So we can play dog doo doo hands, get ourselves like down to one or two hands remaining, and then start sending some stuff down Main Street here. This has got to get us there. I, I'm, I'm comfortable playing. Basically, what I'm saying is we can farm an insane amount of tarot cards as a result of the fact that we have Vagabond. And at some point, we'll be selling these guys, but not yet. Hermit's, Hermit's a funny one. <laughs> Needs to be better jokers, bro. At some point, we got to go in, but we need to get better jokers. Banana me? I'm not that kind of beast, quite frankly. King me? I guess I don't really need the wild you. You're already a spade. Mm, I'll wild you for essentially no reason. Banana's like 10 bucks. Okay, Arrested Development, I see you. Plus two, plus two. <laughs> hmm. Not my favorite opportunity here, but I suppose it is what it is. You don't want to do that. You don't even really want to do this. Is this a challenge? It is. This is the ovoid challenge. You start with five eggs. send it so you you earn no money from any other sources basically you have to sell your eggs in order to start uh, getting your econ off the ground 
It's got to be the right kind of Joker, bro. It's got to be the right kind of Joker. I actually, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go crazy mode on you. I actually think we sell one. I'm not sure we hermit though, because <laughs> <I, laughs> I'm not sure I want to just burn all my money on rerolls, but I think we go celestial pack in the service of buying more flush fives. And I'll admit, it's a, it's a crazy motherfucking play, bro. It's a bit of an insane play. What the hell else will you do with Hermit? I mean, you raise a good point, but I think the answer is nothing. Or like sell it at some point. Using Hermit has no downside. It has no upside though, because like, sure, I get 40 bucks and then I'm just gonna be rolling. I'm gonna roll like $33 away. The point is we don't need, it's not taking up space that we need right now, so I'm not sweating it. The upside is that you have a space. Yeah, but I don't, I don't need the space right now. Am I, am I taking insane man pills or something? You can keep money? Yeah, but then it ruins Vagabond, bro. Okay, give me a, give me a quick justice on this, Andrew. Oh, right, I forgot. Apology accepted. Pair would get five extra. I mean, how many flushes have we played? Three flushes, some lucky kings. Full house is worth four. We've played one full house. In that case, I think we run flush. I'm not thrilled about it, but I think we run flush. We got the 20 mults. Still a little close. <laughs> Death card goes crazy though. Okay, it's time to get, uh, maybe it would have been better to just reroll, but it's time to get rid of the hermit here. We, how many pairs have we played? Five pairs. I think you embrace garbage. Empress is beautiful. It's a beautiful card to get here. I'm still going kings. I'm putting my trust in the game here. Two pair, it must get us there. I refuse to believe that it won't. Easy. <laughs> this was the pot play of Balatro. I don't mean to be offensive, but you were rude first. Is it possible that you just don't understand that it was actually the right play because it looked atypical? I mean, the game is not called, like, get as much money as possible. The game is called Balatro. You become a king. Queens get strengthened. Bulls make money, bears make money, little piggies get slaughtered. That's my motto. And then we start going crazy. Kira font. Might as well. Boss ante. Okay, what's the boss ante? Cards previously played this ante or debuffed. Not ideal, I'll give you that one, not ideal. But you ever consider I missed the part where that's my problem? I'm playing flush five, I don't care. We got lots of kings, we'll make it work. This is the part where it's specifically your problem. And I'm telling you not to sweat it, okay? Just get ready. You are $32 in my pocket. I think it's time to jettison. Spectral. I'd love some enhanced face cards. Thank you for not destroying a king.
Dump some dookie. No temperance is crazy, but I'm not sweating it. I'm a different kind of beast. Necessary. Our first chips now exist. Negative Joker? Yeah, we don't want to play any more cards anyway, if possible, I suppose. Hey, Lost and Shattered, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. You're all getting dumped here. More discards remain. More discards await. You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Hira font me. Some debuffed kings, don't give me... It's not even a flush five, which is a little stinky, but we send it out there regardless. That fucking sucked ass. <laughs> That's all right. We got multiple hands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine with two extra molts and three spades in this. Okay. Okay. A death card to send you to the moon. Dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. A strength card to send you to the moon. Quick flush five for you. And we're straight chilling. Look at that. Act three started 40 minutes ago. I've been playing RuneScape. Chibli, you should do the name a woman challenge. It's, it is a lot of fun. Black deck, gold stake. Yo, Mouth, congratulations. I'm not, honestly, I'm bowing down. I don't think I can do it right now. I need way more skill to do it. I don't have gold stake on anybody, and black deck, I think, is the lowest stake I have. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? Yes, by selling egg, we will never be able to generate any more money ever again. However, with mail-in rebate, will be able to generate money. The only, actually, no, I, I hate to tell you this. I think it's bad because using mail-in rebate will make us unable to use Vagabond. I'm, I, it's the, I hate it as much as you do. It's the wrong decision to buy a negative joker here. There's exceptions to every rule, bro. I hate it. You might love it. It's just, uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Zero downside econ joker. Yeah, as long as you ignore all the downsides, it has zero downsides. That's pretty true. Okay, flush five will carry us here. Justice card may be relevant at some point. I'm willing to send you out there. Another Justice. You're a wild card. I kind of like you being a wild card right now. Now, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't want to be too risky. Just spend the money every round. You bed mass ignoring motherfucker. As soon as we discard a seven, we won't be able to have Vagabond actually work for us. Well, I guess as long as we're on literally zero dollars, it could work. But it's hard to get yourself down to fucking zero because rerolls cost five and everything else costs like two to 20. So as soon as we're going to get to zero gold, discard two fucking sevens. Yay, we got six dollars. And all it cost us was four possible tarot cards that actually could have let us win the run. I get the idea, right? Wouldn't it be nice if there were just rules for life? You always buy negative jokers. You always buy polychrome jokers. It would make life so easy if we could just resort to heuristics in every situation. Unfortunately, around here, we consider the edge cases. We consider the circumstances. Sometimes we even do the math, bro. We walk it through and we rubber duck debug it instead of thinking there's a magic bullet to just being successful in every situation because every situation is a little bit different, okay? You got to use your noggin around these parts. 
$37. I sleep. We want tarot cards. You take your heuristic ass back to the Binding of Isaac. This is Balatro. We clown in this bitch. Dump him. Okay. 16,500. I gotta think about this. I would say, me personally, I have no problem sending you Dookie down Main Street. Hangman card. Kind of a nice addition to the squad, honestly. Here's something you don't see every day. I guess we don't have to kill it just yet. We could just play it instead. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we play none glass jokers because I might need those to get past the needle. Huge, huge. Perfectly placed. Now we got four bucks though. What the fuck? I could buy, I can afford something. Hmm. Kill. Gold. Emperor could actually come in handy. Could come in handy. Quinn, use it. I kind of hate to do this, but I kind of don't hate to do this. I just want to make sure I'm not pussyfooting around here. Didn't need it, but none of them broke. Are you really a Costco executive member? You ain't even got the axe, bro. 60 extra bucks a year, 2% cash back. Buy all your groceries there. Your shit's positive EV. Okay, I think the time has come we have enough gold cards. I think you sell egg for $44. You buy photograph. We played so many high cards. We're never going to get flush five in a pack, bro. <laughs> Jumbo first. Use judgment first. I'm just, hang on, I'm thinking. Sell. Or sell. Sell. Use. Buy. Buy, buy, buy. Photo isn't great for your half, your flat malt. But it's like, it's gonna... It's going to give us 28 flat malt, right? Or do we, we most, sorry, it's going to give us 32 flat malt. Because it triggers on this before the Joker. So it'll get us to 32. Middle Joker's given like five malt. Yeah, the middle Joker is kind of ass. You're not wrong. Well, in that case, I see your point. You could sell Supernova and run Photograph instead and save this for a rainy day. That's actually a good idea. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that one. Sell me, judgment me. That's actually unbelievable. It's so much better than we could have asked for. This, it, it's the luckiest, it, possibly the luckiest Joker we could have gotten. <laughs> Might even be better than Campfire because our econ is fucked to begin with. Now we don't need shit, man. Now we can wait. I would... Oh, but it's so nice to buy a blank to possibly get an extra Joker space later. Oh, we need to get down there for, for um, Vegabond anyway. And we play these out. Four of a kind, five of a kind, flush five... Chibli, Olivia Munn, Chibli. Send it. Send it down Main Street. 
justice card. 20K. He paying 20K a day. Now that is even good. I know what you're saying, big boy. I know what you're saying when you say it. Hmm. Because of the times four molts, we're getting there. I don't even think that's up for a discussion. We're doing okay on cheps. So hit me with something like that. Emperor. World card is exactly what I wanted to see. This Andy does not need to be wild anymore. We can now make it lucky instead. Play flush five. I think you hold the glass. I'm not scared. Not even close. Yeah, blue joker is next to go, without a doubt. I would agree with you on that assessment. Four dollars. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's fucked, brother. I could sell you for two dollars and buy like a mime, I guess. That way, Vagabond still works. Mime gold is big bucks. Yeah, but if anything, I'm trying to go broke. I could sell the egg. Like at some point, it's the right decision. But like, I don't know, it's, it, I feel like it should be the last thing that we sell. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm the crazy one. If anything, well, thanks for the $50. I guess we won't use that right away. It just goes to show you how motherfucking good. Tarot cards are. Like this, I mean, admittedly, family is very helpful, but this whole deck for us is just like tarot cards, bro. Tarot cards have, have taken us where we need to go. So straight up, I'm just making a steel jack. I'm, I'm thinking endless mode right now. Temperance Fool. I, you don't understand. I mean, we're, I, I feel like we're talking past each other here. If I temperance fool, I have to spend $90 on rerolls, bro. Or I could sell Vagabond, but that shit isn't happening because Vagabond is the engine that has allowed our deck to pop off to this point. I disagree fundamentally with, the, with your approach to the game. Baseball is pretty tempting. We could sell Egg Joker, <laughs> finally, and then get this, and it's a 2.25x. It fucks our econ forever, but do we beat anti-8? Yeah, yeah, we easily beat anti-8. So it's a use, a sell, and a buy, and an arcana pack. We may want to dump Vagabond now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because we got to save money for the right purchase. Honestly, I think it's a hanged man situation. We don't need to sell you yet, but we're, we're recognizing you're probably not going to do much for us. But we have to spend money on... Oh, you're right. It is on common. I don't think we... Considering we have no money coming in, I don't think we should fuck around with um, re-rolling. Because that's money we'll never get back. I'd rather re-roll by just beating a blind and letting the shop re-roll itself. Check your boss blinds. All spades are debuffed. That's negative. <laughs> then sell Tarot Joker. I don't th like we don't we have a benefit to holding it because it's on common and gives us times one point five mults. 
we don't really have a benefit to selling it right now, except we get $3 we could spend on 60% of a reroll. I honestly, th this is only 40,000. I think we clear it even if the cards are debuffed. I honestly think it doesn't matter at all. And I think you're all sheep. I think you're not free thinkers. I think you're not real multipliers like me and the rest of my crew in chat. Easiest play of my life. And your ass was out here 30 seconds ago typing Munka S. Or even worse, saying, please use the sun card. Yeah, let's ruin my whole deck forever. For, for what, bro? For what? Okay. Well, Hieroglyph at this point, I don't think we care about, like, we, we're getting one less tarot card per time, but we're getting zero tarot cards anyway, so what do we care? We're specifically looking for uncommon jokers. We don't want to play Glass Kings until we got to play Glass Kings. If anything, this is a, I mean, we got a long way to go, but if we could play eight flush fives, our Celestial packs will start to always have Ceres in them. Interesting idea. It's gonna, gonna take a bit. <laughs> Gonna take a bit, but. You know, uh, well, how we look in here? Nah, bro. We're not buying Mars. Rare Joker? No, no, no. We want Uncommon Joker. You seem to have me confused. It'd be, actually be, be amazing to get some Spectral Packs. So that we could get Purple Seals. I'll play four of a kind. I'm a different kind of beast. Thanks for the 20 bucks. If you find high card, you can hold on to it so it doesn't show in packs. That's mad genius moves right there. I never even considered that. It's incredible. You need to play five? Oh, I didn't have five. <laughs> it doesn't work with telescope. Okay. There's nothing wrong with making a mistake in Balatro. It's a complicated game. What we do need to do as a society is work on the level of confidence that we are giving advice when we're not 100% sure of the situation. That's something that we as a society... Oh, you're an ace. <laughs> That's something we as a society need to, need to figure the frick out, bro. I'll take one extra hand. I'll take... Um, I, I think we're in thin deck situations here we want to draw five kings faster there may come a point where we have to play two flush fives in order to win we go next negative joker straight up two negative jokers could go insane here vagabond is doing nothing okay motherfucker you bet you have a serious problem okay because you are simply the most recent person. You just waited too long. Let's scroll up and find the comment. Vagabond is doing nothing. This is Rodrigo79. Okay. Would the class like to explain why we're keeping Vagabond right now? First, let's look at the counterfactual. What do we get if we sell it? $3 and a Joker space. We haven't found a good Joker to replace it yet. So effectively, we get fucking nothing. And then, on top of that... We got Jim Joker, bro. The Jim Joker Hollow Rookie. Signed. One of one. It gives us a times 1.5 on our, on our molt, bro. It's not hollow. I'm in, in spirit. <laughs> You're right. It's not, it's not hollow in reality, but it's hollow in my heart. I'm not saying get the hammers. I'm just saying 
I'm saying we need a better class of criminal. If there is a god, no, just play four of a kind. You, you don't need to play flush five. I know you need it for telescope, but I don't want two kings to possibly risk breaking. I'll hold there, I'll hold there, okay. That's a gimme. Rare negative that gives us extra molt when you discard jacks. We have five jacks in the deck. That's not insignificant, bro. That's not insignificant. I'm even gonna, I'm gonna take a crazy play. I thought maybe we get a negative out of it. Whatever, it's money we'll never get back. I will take tarot card potential. I think you skipped the other one. It pains me, but there's no negative strength. We can't turn a, a queen into a jack, so. And then negative half joker. Not applicable, but it's negative, so we'll take it anyway. That's life. 300,000, we're getting there. That's not even up for discussion. Chariot card. <laughs> Don't make a jack chariot because we like to discard our jacks. And don't they come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I'm willing to send it. Please don't break though. It's been a while since we added a king. Things you love to see. I'll spend six bucks on this. This is, this is economics. Yeah, seems sensible. Buy egg. <laughs> don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. Five million points, please. I think Wrathful Joker is on the chopping block next. I would tend to agree. Well, actually, no, Vagabond is probably next if we can find an uncommon. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess Vagabond is literally doing nothing. So it can go easily for this hot swap. I'd still like to replace you with an uncommon that gives us some value. But I'm not going to judgment it, although imagine if it worked out for us. Holy brother. I know we can make 28 bucks here, but I honestly think we get a lot of value out of, out of consistent draws as well. I know I'm a little crazy with it. You're right, that makes sense. That makes sense. One roll. No uncommons, we sleep. Very large blind, I'll have to take your word for that. Doesn't look that large to me, but what do I know? Dude, we've been having some good runs today. <laughs> I don't know if this challenge is, is easy or hard, but... Definitely came through in the clutch, man. Or did it? Oh, we need 19,000. I think we're straight chilling, bro. Right? <laughs> Cooked ass hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Achievement unlocked. We might as well try Endless. Like, Endless is fun. Extra Joker spot. I love that for us. Um, un uncommon, at least, is basically like a polychrome Andrew. It's not really going to help us out because we tend to play five of a kind a lot, but it's nice to see. I, fuck a gold card, man. I don't even care anymore. I can't discard you though. Ooh, I'd like to though. Wait, do I discard you? I get oh, 0.5 instead of 1.5. Not as good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We've gotten so lucky with these 
King's not breaking? <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. The new Tomo is making some weird noises. So close to flush five popping off, but I'm gonna chill for now. I mean, we, we're gonna make 220,000. I'm not sweating that too much. Congratulations, you have just become... I'm almost at the point, it's getting tempting to just make some king steal, because we like to keep them in hand and make an extra dollar anyway. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. Hang on, this is an important message. <clears throat> NL, did you get the newest Costco coupons? Stock cold brew, Stoke cold brew, I should say, two pack on sale. Sir Panzer, I need, I need a, a check on this. What, what's the sale? Because normally I think it's two Stoke for $11.99 Canadian, which is a huge bargain because they're $9.49 each at Save On Foods in Vancouver, BC. I'm about to hit up my Costco. <laughs> April 8th to May 5th, $3 off. Oh, <laughs> two Stokes for $8.99? Dude, I'm putting that on the calendar. That's cra I, I got to get there at opening, bro. They're probably going to be sold out. That's great intel. Thank you. I I hate to say this, by the way. I don't think I can take oops all sixes, even though it's on common. It will make my lucky cards pop, but all of my glass cards will break like immediately. I think it's too risky. I know it's on common. I just think it, it breaks my glass cards too, too routinely. As a, as a penance, I threw you one extra reroll, even though I don't like the reroll because that's money we're not getting back. Huge. Brother, I mean, we need, at some point we need to draw some kings. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Yay! <laughs> We've gotten so lucky, bro. Tarot cards appear 2x frequency. We just simmer for a minute. Spectral path, bro. I hate to skip, but especially at this stage of the game, it's a little spicy, but a, a spectral pack could be just what the doctor ordered. Get red seal on a on a steel. Don't skip for spectral, it's only worth $4. No, it's only cost. It's cost is only $4. Its value is determined by me. You know what? I trust you. <laughs> you got it in my fucking head. <laughs> Jumbo Celestial? No, no, no. Ne starting now is the Celestial Renaissance. If we could get Celestials. This is actually huge. Because... Now we've played as many flush fives as high cards. That's a big deal for us. 30 bucks in my pocket, kind of a big deal for us too. Abstract over Wrathful Joker. You're very close. Most of the times this is gonna give us 30 mults and this gives us 24. It could get better if we get negative jokers, but it's kind of perspective. Oh, and you're right, Rothful triggers faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. The molt triggers earlier, which means that the steel cards are multiplying a larger number. We go through this a lot. I always appreciate the heads up. Thank you. I'll take a steel card. 
That's a gimme. Oh! <laughs> I mean, 50 chips when you got like 10,000 molts. That ain't nothing to sneeze at, bro. Okay, I mean, I'm a, I'm a simple kind of man. You're gonna put me in this situation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight my way out of this situation. That was not even close to being good enough. I think we just lost. Okay, so you have to play... We can't discard Jax. You should play Dookie to draw more kings. What? <laughs> play for Dusk. Oh, you raised a good point. I mean, this is a horrendous draw. I'm just going to say it. We got six kings chilling in 21 cards at the back. With Dusk, I mean, I guess this is as good as it gets. Three steel cards, a mime, Dusk. Everything's getting re-triggered. We might, it's a couple luckies would help out. None luckies. Well, it stings, but you know, sometimes you just get Balatrod. Let's call that slash marker. Balatrod too. 